During a campus visit, NESA astronauts and ST alumni, Dr. Sandra Magnus, Colonel Tom Akers, and Dr. Janet Cabande, talk about how their RALA education prepared them for space flight. Okay, I'm a little biased, but I think physics is actually a really good background to have um, because you can uh, take that knowledge, which is you know fundamental understanding of how everything works, and you can transfer it to any kind of engineering that you want. I transferred it a couple different places, and, and even at NASA, you know, you have to understand a whole bunch of different systems and, and technical issues, and, and it's all physics in some form or another. So coming here to study physics and getting exposed to engineering at the same time which I knew nothing about until I came to Rala, as a matter of fact, uh, was really beneficial for me because I actually developed an interest in engineering, which is, you know, of course, applied physics, but I still call myself a physicist. Mm -hmm. Unlike Sandy, I'm not biased, <coughs> and <laughs> mathematics is the thing you need to learn <laughs> physics or engineering. Or you're right, you're <laughs> right, you're right, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think Problem solving is is the thing that mm -hmm. that I came away from uh, UMR with, and and hard work. You didn't get through here without hard work, but you also learned how to solve problems on your own. You ended up doing a lot of learning on on your own when you come through here, and I think that's still true today. And that's one of the important things I think that I got here was how to learn without a teacher and without a classroom, because occasionally you would get an instructor here at Rolla that wasn't the best teacher in the world and you had to learn on your own. And I honestly, I don't recommend this, I think we ought to have good instructors, but I learned as much sometimes in, from that method as I did from a really good instructor. Uh, so yeah, problem solving and obviously a, a good technical background. I don't think you can beat uh, what we have had back then and have today here. Okay. And, and my background is chemistry as I mentioned, so I think uh, a lot of the laboratory techniques and the discipline that you have to have when you do your experimentation properly so that you get accurate results helped me a lot. I was the branch chief for payloads, which is the NASA term for experimentation for all the experiments that go on the space station or on the shuttle. Just based on your background and your knowledge of how you have to set things up to ensure good results, it was very helpful to recommend to those developers, well, it works that way on the ground, but it won't work that way in, in zero-g, so we need to modify this. If you didn't have that kind of background, then you wouldn't necessarily know that you needed to fix these things before you got to space to ensure that they worked 